Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to show you guys how I do the reverse cat eyeliner. This is a trend that's been going around TikTok and it's inspired by Middle Eastern Arabic makeup. I did like a little preview video on my Instagram and my TikTok of me doing it just like showing the line and I said would you guys want to see a tutorial and a bunch of you guys were like yes please show us. So I figured I have some products here to test today as well just like some random stuff that I haven't tried yet on camera. So I figured let's just make this into a YouTube video and I can also show you guys that reverse cat eyeliner which is so sultry and pretty so let's get into it if you guys have not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell as well so you do not miss out on my videos you do have to subscribe and tap the bell because YouTube is playing games so let's just get on into the video always changing my YouTube background I did something a little different I really like it I just want something cute that's like peaceful, like natural, but still like a little fun at the same time, a little boho. So this is the new setup. Hopefully you guys like it. So Touch and Soul sent me in PR a bunch of items and I've literally had them sitting in a box and I'm like, I need to play with some of this stuff. So they sent me, you guys already know about this. No problem products from them are like their probably most well-known products. So sent over their Glow Essential Base. It's called Feel Like Honeymoon Skin Base. One thing I did not like when I was reading the ingredients is that this does have parabens in it and I do try to avoid makeup that has parabens in it. So that was a little disappointing. I wish they would reformulate this. It reminds me a lot of that NYX Honey product and it seems interesting. Like it seems like a cool product. So I'm kind of a little unsure about that one. You guys know I'm like ride or die for their Sherbert Primer. Hi, baby. It makes my pores blur because you decided to join us. They also sent over their Pretty Filter Waterful Glow Cream. I've actually not tried this one yet. It's pretty moisturized today, but let me put on a little bit of this Waterful Glow Cream. It's instant hydration for dry, distressed skin. Lightweight. It has that like light gel consistency. It's a little weird. It doesn't have like my favorite scent. It kind of smells like, I don't know weird fruit it, it's like a sour fruit it's not a great smell <laughs> just keeping it real with you guys this little packaging and i think i have a couple of these in full size from boxy charm already have the prime essence i'm gonna go ahead and use this one i think i saw this at tj maxx this little set nice feel to it like when you put it on the skin like it makes your skin feel really soft i don't think though this one does for me like any pore blurring it does though make my skin feel smooth so i can say that claim it does live up to let's pause on face for a second and do some eyes I have the pretty filter mattish liquid shadow the number five secret it also says it has hyaluronic acid love a matte eye Ooh, it's so pretty they also sent these liquid glitter toppers. It's called see-through brown look and there are three glitters in here. It's going to be probably a little bit hard to see. These are pretty. They pop out like that. Go ahead and prime my eyes with this Makeup Revolution Core Eye Primer. This is a dupe for MAC Paint Pop. That was like one of my favorite makeup brands like ever starting out and I've never tried Paint Pot. But I think this is very similar. It has that like thick texture. So I'm just going to go in with this pretty filter mattish liquid shadow I was telling you guys about. And see how this looks. Because when you do the reverse cat eye. Ooh, this is fun. It's like a rosy pink color. Hmm, it's interesting. Definitely going to go over this with one of those glitters though it reminds me of the wet and wild liquid catsuit matte that I used in my Dollar Tree makeup video and I really loved that I'm gonna go in to my Huda Beauty desert dust palette I just figured I haven't used this in a little bit so might as well um, for my crease the shade musk it's just like a matte plain matte color I'm just gonna put this right into the crease actually blends nicely with that matte touch and sole product we use. I'm going to take this one. This is called Peony Gold. It's 
Ooh. Ooh, I love this. This is like my kind of color right here. Very princessy. It actually looks nice because I'm layering it over. Also not too much, like it's not as glittery as a Stila Glitter and Glow. You know, I have like a major love affair with those. This one's definitely not as intense. It's more of like a subtle kind of glitter. This one is Mocha Touch. I'm gonna see if I could put this on the center. Ooh, that is so pretty too. I like how subtle these are. Then in the outer corner, I think I'm gonna go in with Oud. This one right here. You have this Touch and Soul French Garden Gel Liner with diamonds in it. And this is actually in a brown shade. It's in chocolate. So you can do this in any color. You can do it in black, which I did originally. You can do it in brown if you want something softer. Since I'm testing out these products, I'm just gonna go ahead and try brown because I already did black. So let's see how this is. This pencil, like I was opening this before and it totally like fell out <laughs> and I had to rescue it. The first thing you wanna do with this trend is just line in your waterline. Ooh, this is a very smooth liner. Sometimes with eyeliners, they just go on so jaggedy, but this one's nice. So what you also do is you want to drag it to the inner corner. And create that like point. Where it elongates the eye. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil and I'm just going to run it on the lower lash line. You're going to want to take a thin angled brush. I'm using my favorite one from Essence and you're going to take that smudge liner and just flick it up like this. And it's going to create this like smoky liner and you can really make that wing pretty dramatic bottom gets a little messy you can always clean up with concealer after so just again take that product flick it up and then i'm just dragging that in additional product that i put on the lower lash line and then dragging that also onto my eye Okay, so then what you want to do is go over the pencil liner with a shadow to really smoke it out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take another liner brush, something that is a little bit thicker than the one I just used. I'm just cleaning this one off. So I'm going to dip into this brown shade. You could use whatever again matches. So if you're doing black, dip into a black shadow. And then I'm just going to run that on top of that liner and the wing. all just about having that sultry smoky lower lash line and that very winged out liner so again I'm just working that brown shadow on top of the eyeliner We're at skinny little angled brush and just wing out from the bottom so you're literally just going like this flicking it outwards to create a wing and same thing as I did before, I'm just going to pick up that brown shadow and just go over the liner and smoke it out. When I do this, I don't take it all the way in on top. I'm really just taking it in with the liner when I do that little pointy area right here in the front. That's basically how you do it, you guys. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. It's kind of fun and gives just like a whole different look to the eyes. Let's move on to lashes. They did send over this mini magic mascara duo set on paper pusher stretch fiber lengthening mascara. And then this is the stretch X stretch lash effect mascara stretch X and see how this goes. This is the wand. It's interesting. It's like a little curve ready curl my lashes. 
This one feels like a little comb. Like it's combing through my lashes nicely. Kind of lifting them up. Oh, it's actually really nice. I like the length that that gave me. I would have thought actually that was the lengthening one. But apparently this one is. This is what it looks like. I love layering different mascaras and seeing what kind of effect it gives. I feel like my lashes look really nice and full and like fluffy. I really like, they look really long with these two mascaras. Definitely good for length. Oh yeah, I am loving the length. Okay, so I did the mascara. I feel like my lashes look really pretty and they look very elongated, just like fluffy. So. I'm into it. I do like these two. Let's move on to face. Um, you guys can see I'm getting a little red in the nose. It's just what happens. So I actually got this from Ocean State Job Lot. It's this Pacifica Crystal Blur Illuminating Foundation. The shade is medium yellow. However, it is way too light for me. So what I'm actually going to do is mix it with the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation, which you actually can find right now at Marshalls. I've seen it there a lot recently. So I'm going to mix these two because this one's a little darker. This is warm medium mix it together on my little mixer plate here the sponge we're gonna play with this again it's been a minute and i'm just gonna pop this into the skin for some reason i get like that little redness around my nose especially when i film the time of day when the sun and like the shadows are out so gizzy gets really like crazy during this time with shadows um, maybe your cat does the same thing, but with shadows he like has to go to the window and then he like knocks everything over on my other makeup desk over here. I have some stuff and it's just like everything's a hot mess. So blur foundation, it's definitely to me something I have to mix with something else. Like I don't like using it on its own. I wear like a tint and I cannot believe I'm saying that. I'm not even kidding you guys. Like I never thought I would say that. I've always been a full coverage girl. So for me to say that is pretty, pretty crazy, but I still love putting on foundation. Like there's just something so fun about putting on a full coverage foundation and just having that super like done up look. Like I forever love that look. It, it always looks nice, but I really have been liking the less, more less with my skin. I'm going to cover up my dark circles with the Believe Brighten Up Color Corrector. This is a pretty good dupe for the Becca one. I use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm just going to use my Blendiful again and blend this out. What shade am I in this? I'm using medium, neutral. And feel free to clean up that line. Birthday, I actually went into Dollar General and I picked up a couple more Believe brushes. So, um, I just told you guys these videos, I'm just like trying literally everything. So we're having fun. Um, I found this Believe Beauty angled blush brush and I got the Believe Beauty cream blush in the shade doll face. It's a gorgeous pink. Actually, these were in my Dollar Tree Dollar General haul. So watch that if you missed it. So usually I've been using my fingers to blend this in. I'm going to try this brush today and see how it goes. So I'm just putting this pretty high on my cheek. That's what I've been doing recently. And then just blend it out. Ooh, I love this brush. If you guys have not tried the Believe brushes yet, you're missing out. They're amazing. Like 10 out of 10 recommend. It feels like a Marc Jacobs brush. It actually does feel like my Marc Jacobs brush that I got at Marshalls. So if that tells you anything. The foundation brush is also a favorite. So I like to put on a lot of this because... You know guys, I feel like cream blushes disappear really easily. I mean, it's more like the end of the day right now, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll blend it out a little, but I always do extra. Cream blushes just don't last as long as the powders do. Love it. There's another shade that I need to find. It's more of like a peach color. And there's no like shimmer in this or anything. It's just a creamy matte shade, but it's the creaminess that gives you a little bit of that glow. And I think this is a great alternative to those pricier cream blushes we've been seeing, like a Tower 28. So definitely, you guys, 
pick this up. For highlight, I'm just going to use this AOA Glow Baby Highlighter. This is in Morning Glow. And I'm going to use my finger. This is a really beautiful, affordable highlighter. I think this one is also $1. I mean, it's from Shop Miss A, so everything there is typically a dollar. Another Shop Miss A video soon. See if they got any new stuff in. Really nice if you pair it with a cream blush asking in the glow right now it is so pretty this is so old i just discovered it in my draw and i'm like let's just use that the wet n wild cushion bronzer in cafe osle i'm gonna also just wipe off this brush a little dip into the cushion and then just it's a really like natural bronzer i really like it i think you can probably find this at dollar tree because they have all their cushion stuff there such an underrated product from Wet n Wild. I like this for my forehead because it doesn't make me patchy like a lot of bronzers do on my forehead. For lip liner, I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Bear. It's like a brown nude. adding this MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Reverence on top. <laughs> guys, the makeup look is pretty much done. You guys most of all today learned how to do the reverse cat eye and hopefully i made it easy for you guys to understand that was really the whole purpose of this video and i had so much fun doing it with brown i feel like it's definitely more subtle and like i feel more comfortable wearing this brown out and then i did with the black because the black was just like so intense like i would definitely wear that to an event i really love it so i had so much fun doing this today and also testing out some fun new products that I've been wanting to try for so long now with you guys. So let me know what you thought. Are you going to try out this look, this eyeliner trend? It is really fun and I'm so happy that I got to try out something new. I really liked a lot of the products that I used today. Um, a lot of the Touch and Soul products were really nice. I really like the Metalist Glitter Toppers. I think these are really subtle but pretty at the same time. I also really liked the diamond eyeliner. I thought this was really smooth. It drew on the eye really nice and smooth. This was great too, the matte eyeshadow. It was nice and pigmented and I feel like it had good coverage and the color was really unique and pretty. I've never really tried anything um, this color before. I love the way that my mascara came out today using these two. I will definitely be pairing them together again. That's pretty much everything you guys. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today and learning a new technique that I also just learned and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget again to subscribe and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>